Okay, this is a quick video on uh, using RPR. I keep using this thing more and more as I've figured out what it's useful for. Um, so if you want to go to RPR, you go to NARRPR.com. You're going to have to uh, kind of sign up and get your, your login and all that figured out. So if you need help with that, uh, either I or... Chattanooga Association Realtors can help you figure that out, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. This is what I found it to be the best for. So I looked up a property somebody told me about in tax records, and I couldn't find it. Um, so basically, you can come to RPR. Uh, you can enter the address like so. Um, you can hit launch, and since this guy didn't have, you know, tax numbers and all that, this seems to be the way, best way to do it, and it comes up with a report, gives you a report on the property. Uh, yeah, it gives you some sort of valuation that I wouldn't use that's about as good as Zillow, maybe a little bit better. You can adjust that where it says refine, which is kind of neat. So if some of the information is wrong, you can go in and make some adjustments and put in that they put in a $50,000 kitchen, all that. So, um, but yeah, it gives you basics uh, about the house, uh, about the owners, um, shows you a little plat map. This one's not perfect, but... Um, because I don't think this is the exact, this isn't their property. I think it's really kind of back off of here. But it also gives you all sorts of other cool stuff like your median home prices, median list prices, some things we know. Uh, gives you square footage, lot size. Gives you a whole bunch of stuff that you can use um, as you are trying to figure out some sort of value for this property when it was built. So it's like a glorified tax records, but... Uh, sometimes it's a little more user friendly. So say you like this, you can actually go to create report to print up something uh, that you want, and they've got everything from you know property report. I, I, I like taking these on listing presentations for my sake, where they they kind of give you maps, pictures of the area, pictures of the old neighborhood, as well as actual information that you need square footage and things like that. Um, it kind of even gives you information on the market and how it's doing and throws in a couple of uh, a couple of comps that you can have and use if you like or not. So, so yeah, this is just one of the reports uh, with a for sale by owner. I've even done kind of a mini property flyer so that I've got some sort of information with my name on it about the property to hand the people that I'm showing. So I've either used that, that's just a one page thing, or the property report. You got seller's reports. Um, this I haven't used a ton. I imagine it's fairly similar to the last one I looked at. But it may be a wealth of information that you can almost just sort of shoot to a colder prospect that you have. Okay, it does give you some good comps. Um, a colder prospect that you have who just kind of calls you about a house and wants some general information. Um, and even down to market activity reports. So this will, this is more about a certain area. It'll tell you what's sold, what's on the market. So these might be good things to even send out to people that you're, you're trying to do business with. You know, that could be almost your, that market report could almost be what you send out to, um, you know, folks, as as sort of your newsletter to people of, hey, here's what's going on on Lookout Mountain without having to create something and do a bunch of research. This is neighborhood report, so it actually gives demographics and all sorts of things like that uh, that are great to have, like the medium age, medium income. It really gives you all all sorts of stuff uh, that you can go after. So, um, so yeah, if you want, you can email it directly to somebody or just send it to yourself 
which is what I'll do with um, with one of these reports or the property report for something I might list. But um, yeah, you can send it to somebody. You can put a little message in there. Um, it'll, it can email it to you, and in the end of all, you just hit get report, uh, and you don't get the report instantly. So, sorry, the button is not working. Anyway, maybe this video captures messing with me, but usually you're gonna click get report, and uh, maybe it wants my email. Okay, up here. All right, let's try this again. All right, we hit get report. It's going to generate the report. Uh, like it says here, you'll get up here where it says reports in the upper right. Uh, you'll get a little, you know, I don't know. Oh, there it is. You'll get a little thing that says the report's been requested. And when it's done, it's going to go ding or <laughs> make some noise. But it'll also email it to you. This is to get it to you. Or if you want it to go to your prospect, you can put it there and put your own little note. So... Um, so yeah, great report. Hope this helps and that y'all use, start using RPR soon.